Hi guys, it's Mercury Bard back again to play some Morrowind. The stream I was doing, we ended like an hour ago, but I can't start up again with my um, YouTube account. So we are going to do a recording. I apologize. What is that? Is that what a scamp is supposed to look like? Um... Anyways, this is concept art, I think, mostly. But we are in the West Gash. We just helped Drooling Fallon out again by getting rid of some bandits. We're going to go to Caldera. There's a spirit that we need to get Impressive. out of somebody's house on behalf of the Imperial Temple Cult, or the Imperial Cult. Um... That's why we have our little priest, Jasaro. He's so cute. And we are also going... What else were we going to do in Caldera? Something else. Yeah, there's the Bosmer that has the ghost. Oh, at the mine, at the ebony mines, um, there are some Talvani agents that we need to kill. Why is there a person up there who's going to cast a spell? Which means they're going to attack me for no reason. That's a nice robe. I don't want a chitin staff, but I will take this. I will take this. Not real sure how bandages work, but latte. There something Have a pretty bro. Just for funsies. Okay. Oh, oh, we had to go right for poison. Thanks. Thanks, friend. And now I'm on fire again. This is a thing that happens a lot. Next time I'm playing in Dunmer, they have heat resistance. I'm taking that because it's annoying. Extravagant belt we can get some money for. Weighs almost nothing. <sighs> Alright, guys. Let's find a place to pitch a camp. What did that sign say, anyways? Crash weed. Caldera and Balmora. Alright, we're pitching a camp right here. So I can heal. Unpack. Touch a cover. Touch a, I don't have any lanterns, but we can attach uh, the wind chimes. Lay down our bedroll. I am experiencing minor withdrawal. Well, that sucks. Let's uh, combat that by drinking more. Because, you know, we make good life choices. Make it Nord. And who is this? He is a well dressed Argonian. Greetings, traveler. Rasha wishes you well and thinks you may be able to help him with some pressing business. Yes, most pressing. I have, you see, a shipment of clothing, fine clothing it is, to get to Aldrun, but I fear other business draws me away. Perhaps, I think, you and I might come to an arrangement, yes? 
if you deliver Rasha's shirts, these fine, fine shirts, to Bevel Teneirin, the clothier in Aldrun, she will pay you for your services. And a generous woman she is. I ask you that you swear an oath to Zenithar to seal our arrangement, though. Yes. Do you? What do you think of my offer? So I was like, yes, I swear to Zenithar, I will deliver your shipment. Most excellent. Yes, we will both gain from this. I shall keep my good name, and you shall benefit from Teneren's generosity. Wonderful. Take care, Dak. One should not take an oath sworn to Zenithir lightly. No, never lightly. Okay. Guess what, Gia? You're going to carry the shirt so I don't accidentally sell them. Jihab. This one. There we go. Squizzed shirt, so of course he's going to put one on. Alright. Yes, I will train you. Latte, heal thyself. Do we have cheap? We have a bunch of cheap health potions, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's standard potions. Let me give you six of them. Oh, you have cheap health. Oh, nice. You, sir, are either... You're an officer of the Imperial Law. Armak, Walod, Caldera, Balmora. This is the mine. That's that ancestral tomb we went in, like last night. Package. Well, I have plenty of food. I shall eat racer meat. Not precisely sure where those Tavani agents are. Well, that was German. Really? Is it shirt? Fine shoes are not carrying. Silver shard sword. Mm. Alright, let's just throw down our palette right quick. Get some sleep. Watch us get interrupted. Oh. Intelligence, personality. Alright, I'm sober. Pick up. Where are those Talvani agents? Latte is not healing. Why are you not healing, Latte? Setting camp here. <laughs> Latte? No, he didn't actually. Is there something on your mind? Mm, very well. Anyways. What is this right here? This is not Trillian's house. We share the same company. What can I do for you? Just 
chili I can fix, no problem. Ah, you bring good fortune with you. Welcome. Oh, he's a blades trainer. He's okay. Sour. A warrior. But he knows his job and leaves us alone to do ours. Yes, I offer training, but only to blades. I'm a blade too, and I report to Cassius, like you. You're welcome to use my bed to rest, but leave my other stuff alone, please. Cool. May you find me worthy of your attention. Uh, let's see if this... if Latte... Latte's not healing. Why is Latte not healing? Hmm... He has nothing to steal, I think. But let us at least practice our security. Yeah, nothing to steal. He's gonna come and be, in and be like, why the fuck did she pick the locks? Welcome, friend. Hail. All right. Where are we? I do not know. <laughs> He's a guar herder. I don't think I've ever found him before. In all of my playthroughs, I don't remember ever finding him. And you look like a very well-dressed bandit. I'll say, don't die on me, please. Oh, Elven Shadow Pauldron. What does that look like? We will have to see. Take a scroll of Windwalker. I think... So there's a mod that I downloaded. Ooh, that's pretty. That allow... That gives the option of getting better loot based on your luck. So I think that's what's going on here. Where that I think that's where that shield came from and where um, that pauldron just came from. So Who are you? What brings you here? Hey there! Yes, you! Interested in making a deal? Look, I'm just a poor merchant trying to make my way to Narmak with some trade goods. I could use an escort, though, since mine seems to have buggered off. If you'd be willing to take me there, I'd give you... No, I shouldn't. Although it's a dangerous trip. Alright, I'll give you the boots of blinding speed, though I'd be overpaying you by quite a bit. I don't want to go to Narmak. You can come along. Excellent. Although it seems quite a high payment, the boots of blinding speed are a rare and wondrous thing. Never mind, I've made the deal, and I'm an honest woman. Let's get going. We are going to drag you all over the place, Penemy. Because we're going to Caldera. Adventure, I have a business proposition for you. You give me 500 drakes, and I don't cut off your head. How does that sound? How about you get out of my way before I feed you to the next sounds? Then die, fool. You don't even have a shirt on. <sighs> Fools indeed. Arithmetic for Barbarians. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I don't know. Latte needs healing. I need a healing spell. I suppose I should go to... 
Um, this is our room. We're gone. Clara Balmora. <laughs> back roads. We won't take back roads. Hey, traitor! You have a There's fancy dress. I can tell. Alright. Dunbar's Guide to the Reach. It's like everybody has one. You don't buy that item. You don't buy that item. What do you buy? You buy fish? You buy fish. I don't want to eat next sound. Or meat. Keep the slaughterfish meat. You got no interesting rumors for me. <laughs> got the stone. Pick up another stone. And we find an orc. Hey, you! You're not one of them town bosses, right? How about you help me? I'll give you a present. You wanna help? Sure you do, good friend. Look, those guys in Caldera think I did something bad, so they're looking for me. I'm too smart for them, though. I can hide real good. My friend can help me. Maybe you bring her a note for me? I can give you a present, really. Good, good. I guess you know how those town bosses can be, too. Mean, mean. Good thing I'm smarter than them. You take the note to Bashuk Grabat. In Caldera. She's a good friend of Bogrol. She helped me out. You're okay by me. Much to Much to learn. <laughs> this is the kind of weird thing. And because one of them will aggro this rat. No, no, absolutely not. Not. Our last playthrough, we dragged him over hill and vale, and he then attacked us because his evil witch was actually a healer that he tried to molest, and that did not go down well. So he can just sit there and stew. And that's the Caldera Priory, which is a Seeloth mod. And I don't think we're ready for a Seeloth mod. So we're just gonna go right on by. Especially since it's based on... I forget what game, but it's gonna be a doozy. 
Let me go up so we get, like, the door on our map. Oh my. There's a whole village back in here. Ruined Chapel. Cliff Racer! Well is collapsed. Wood door. Flint stone. And four stone. Okay. Now that that's completely on our map, we are gonna leave the priory behind. Hey, Scrib. And continue down the road. There we go, there's Caldera. Alright. Caldera, Haldron, Caldera Mining Company. We'll have to go that way. Deal with the Talvani. Hey stranger, I haven't seen you around here. I'm an adventurer. An adventurer, or more like a troublemaker. Did you come to add misery to the strife of the honest people who live here? If it were up to me, I wouldn't allow you into the town. But it seems that the Caldera Mining Company is welcoming your kind in this settlement, because there are a couple of things you may help the citizens of the town out. Just try to be the kind of adventurer who kills bandits and catches thieves instead of joining them, alright? We shall meet again. You may enter the town. Thanks. Pregnant lady. Oh, what are we missing? I don't think we've been to call there yet. Nope. Alright. I thought we had a thing in the console that allowed us to... I wonder why it's not working. Help, stranger! Oh, forgive me. One of the guards at another entry port point of the town informed me about you. You're alright. Please move along. Hello there. How are you? Clothier... I think we have some nice clothes on us. We have some clothes on us, period. Alright. Oh, that's a pretty robe. Let's go through our amulets, too. I was born in the Somerset Isle, and like all Altmar, I wanted to be a mage. But unlike the others, it was not the power that lured me towards the profession. It was the clothes. I remember the day I first saw my mother's robe. It looked beautiful. It was red and made of silk. Oh, how I wished I could wear that. Well, I wasn't a really good candidate as a mage, and they expelled me from the Arcane University. However, I haven't given up my dream of wearing beautiful clothes. I decided that if they wouldn't give me beautiful robes based on my skill as a mage, I shall make them for myself. I became an apprentice of a clothier and started my own business here. And every day since then, I'm working hard to make a living for my profession. I make good money and it's a dream job for me. However, I don't have a lot of free time. I'm considering hiring an assistant. Let me know if you're interested. Yes, I'm willing to give you a job. I'm willing to give a job for a hard-working assistant. Here, 
Take this gold and go to Ebenhart. I have ordered some exquisite clothes from the East Empire Company. Talk with Sh Shrog Shazgob Gra Luzgen. Pay for the shipment and deliver it here. Yes, the Priory. Not far from here, just along the northern road. Travelers that could not afford a room in town would often go there to stay the night. Well, not anymore. No one goes there anymore after the undead came. If you want to know what happened, talk to Chalda and Shank Shovel. She was the blacksmith, and she's the only one who survived the slaughter. Cariel, I know who you're talking about. I'd look for him in Narmok, a fishing village on the west coast of Vardenfell. I've heard talk that a strange Argonian with spectacles is staying at the tavern in town. I think his name is Flimdar. Apparently he's been trying to recruit mages from the Mages Guild in town for some project, but they've all turned him down. Last I heard he was hanging out in Shank Shovel. Strange fellow, to be sure. I don't know much about him. I heard he's an Argonian that arrived in town fairly recently. He's been asking every mage in town about some excavation. I hear he walks around with goggles on, like the native Dunmer armor. Maybe he plans to go out into the Ashlands. Caldera's a quiet, law-abiding town. Not much call for adventurers or mercenaries here. A good place to shop for equipment and look for a trainer, though. Nedhalas, the fellow who says his house is haunted? He lives just to the right of the south gate. I'd look for him there. I do have a shirt with a black vest, but why should I give this to you for free? The Imperial cult is too poor to pay me for my work? I don't think so. I think we need to up his um disposition towards this. Please do not make me have to pay him thousands of gold to get this done. Dex, like I can threaten him, and I'm like, no, we're gonna work for him. We cannot threaten our boss. But I can hit him with a shovel. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Indeed, I do make a fine garment, if I say so myself, and the red shirt with the black vest is one of my favorite traditional designs. And I admit, I am weak when it comes to such generous praise. Here, please accept the shirt and vest for the Imperial Cult with my compliments, and also for yourself, take another shirt with these matching trousers. Wow, that's nice. Orda, or. Adril Helvi at the Governor's Hall is the town reeve of Caldera. Stellenius Vabato, the mine boss, lives on site at the mines to the southwest. Shank the Red Guard is the publican of Shank Shovel, the local trade house. Shank Shovel, the trade house, is near Southgate. The Governor's Hall sits on the hill to the northeast. The Mages Guild in the west, in the corner opposite Northgate's Twin Towers, has the Guild Guide transport to Vivek, Balmora, Aldbrun, and Sadrath Mora's Mages Guilds. The Caldera Ebony Mines lie in a depression southwest of town. Roads lead south to Balmora and north to Aldbrun. La Oad on the west coast is a long walk without any trail. Head west to the coast, and then follow the coast north. Alright, dude. Oh, Geob! Carry this so I don't accidentally sell it. <laughs> Thank you. Solanamo, my friend, I was wondering if you could send me an order of those new Natch leather shoes you were raving about last night. Come by the shovel any time for a round on the house. You really must tell me more about your past on Somerset Isle sometime. Although next time I hope you're sober enough to make sense. Shank. Alright. Let us go to the next place. 
I really wish I knew what that was. Um, that's Northgar Gate. That's a Kilanor. That's a person. That's Miss. Oh, I know what that is. She is from Sam Partners mod. So I do need it installed. Companions. Alright, let's see if this solves Misty's problem. It's a nice map. Yep, there we go. That was the problem. And since what we were doing was not fixing... Um, the issues we were having, and she is out of booze. Dang, she's gonna have to drink water. <laughs> when we have some on us. Welcome. Please give me shot. Do you want something from me? Spring. What say you? How can I help you? On Barco, we could probably use one of those. We welcome you freely, Captain. Flatterer. Flatter. Mer. Uh, uh, Offer is refused. Do I just have some kind of small crap? Code Dima. Nice armor. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Yes, Outlander. Why do does Jeeb always linger in the stores? Just why? Oh, Jeeb, come along. May you find me worthy of your attention. Everybody, come outside. Okay. Yes. Caldera is a crazy busy city. Just FYI. Good day to you. Alright. Can I help you out? Do you need something? This is the orc we are supposed to talk to. You got a note from Bugroll to me? What the where that fool get himself? He not smart like me, you know. I work for Agola. Yeah, that bug girl always getting in trouble. Not me, though. I'm too smart. He a good hider, but I'm a better finder. I'll find him near tree and rock and other rock. No problem. 
He feel better if you take this note to him, if you can find him. I bet you not a good, as good a finder as me. Not even close, I bet. But try it, big shot. My dear friend Bashuk, I have sent a final notice to Valvius. I'll write again when he gives me a response. Until then, please sit tight. I predict that I predict it will be bashing time again for you soon enough. Ergola the pawnbroker. Hmm. Bashing time. What may I do? What say? What say? That's just a crappy. Ahead, Outlander. What okay, do you so I'm assuming he's walking around out here somewhere. Do you want something from me? Since his house is locked. You're just a random person. Metalos, where are you? I'm looking for What is I that? Who knows? What's this all about? And alas. You look cool. I don't. <laughs> Assassin. Yeah. Oh, that one. She's got a bounty on her head, I believe, although no one would bother trying to collect on it. She's a slippery one. Often deals in shoddy items. Great promise, but low reward, you know? Be well, traveler. Where is ah, Nedhalas? Maybe he's in Shanks? Oh, that that's a that's a Bosmer. Come here! Yes, I'm the one with the haunted house. The Imperial cult said they'd send someone to take care of the ghost. I suspect it has to do with the trap door. The landlord told me not to fool with it, but he didn't say why, although I now I can guess. The landlord gave me a key. Here, please let me know when the ghost's gone. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. I'm renting the house, and when I rented it, the landlord told me I couldn't use the cellar. Now I know why. Ever since I moved in, I've had bad dreams, and now this ghost appears, scares me half to death, and chases me out of the house whenever I try to sleep. It's driving me crazy. I haven't opened the door. My landlord told me not to, and now I'm scared to open it. Okie doke. Let us go investigate. <laughs> okay. There's an ancestral tomb. That might explain the problem he's having. I think we can blame this one on colonialism. Because this is very much a, uh... Imperial town. Looks like, and they built right over a uh... Mate. You're gonna eat it again. Move. Yeah. Ghost of Gallows Hilaron. What do I do a do a um protection spell? Gia is carrying a bunch of them for us. 
dire viper bolt ring and a shame ring like 38 value total but it's better than nothing <laughs> What are we detecting? We're detecting enchantment and we're detecting animal. So I don't actually expect to find. Quit playing with the door. Hairbrush. Like, yes, I'm taking the Flynn and I'm drinking the Sujama right now. Water milk, bleh. Six gold? Yeah, sure, whatever. Bless the nine and thank you. Thank you for ridding me of that ghost. Since it's not a haunted house anymore, maybe I can get some sleep. And don't worry about the trap door. I'll just leave it alone. Completely alone. Thanks to you and to the Imperial cult. I'm not going to try and fool with it. Let it stay closed. I don't need the cellar. There's a price on her head, though I don't know how much. People don't ki take kindly to being sold shoddy goods. Yeah. Do I have any armor I need to sell? Yep. Ah, uh, well. What can I do? You know how, many how can I help you? Nuada, this is from Hellboy 2. Do you have a pauldron that matches my pauldron? Nope. Fuller, flatterer, flatter, tongs. Do I have master's hammers? Yeah, I got master's hammers. Let's see if you'll take 200 gold for this. Oh, yeah. Being a, um, a Nord has its perks. How can I help? I'm busy now. Let me see if there's one just laying around. Those are tongs. It's an apprentice's hammer. Are you an outlander? You know how many Black Manor. Oh, outlander. What's your I don't have anything I need to sell. Creeper. Nope. Nothing worth selling to Creeper. Go ahead. Oh, hey, those those are nice trousers. I will always take something that uh I like this. Alright, let's go back and give the the orc that is hiding his note. And then we shall, um, go to the mine. Actually, mine first, then work. 
It'll depend on where the turn off is. That's the turn off for the mine. I think. <laughs> oh, let's go visit Holmar Weinsot and give him the middle finger. He's such a creep. You can just sit there. Yep, not going to the Priory. Go find our hidden orc. Here, orc, orc, orc. Here, orc, orc, orc. There was much to discuss. Good, you back. Much you got a note from Bashok? Gimme. Whew. Good thing you got my note to her. She'll help. I suppose you want her your present. Here's your present. <laughs> I'm sure you'll like it. It's a nice rock. <laughs> Stupid hero. It's a diamond. You're the moron. Oh yeah, I need to pick up sticks. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. What is it, Nord? You're just a traveler. You don't even have dialogue other than some forced ones from various mods. All right, let us go see if we can find these Talvani agents without the use of uh, Rising Force potions, because I don't think I have any. Why are you a bear? <laughs> You're an officer of the Imperial Law. Okay, you are a traitor. I never have good luck with you guys. See if you'll buy potions off of me. I'm carrying way too much. Uh, cheap poison resistance. Actually, let me keep that one. We keep getting hit by Daedroths and it hurts. Store strength. Don't know what that is, but we'll take it. Actually, we're going to keep that. We only need one restore agility. Seller has no gold. Okay. Why am I even talking to you? Gold ribbon of merit. That's probably worth something. She's like, but it's mead, we have to buy it. And I have to drink it. Bitter green, scathe grab, and yep. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Alveg. How may I help you? you don't deserve no, I haven't seen any Talvani agents around here. Although now you mention it. That was easy. He is going to Chiab. Oh, Chiab, where are you? Oh, you're back here. Here. You're over encumbered. Sorry, my dude. What put you over the top? Only weighs two point. We're just gonna leave that there. And we'll use these journals.
frame and Sammer's first. <laughs> I would love to train you. Ashinamu. There's our cave save. There we go. We're actually gonna rest. No, we need to actually sleep to restore our mana. Our magicka, whatever it's called here. Chilly and sober. May you find me. Chilly and sober. Yeah. I'm wearing a robe, so I don't know what else they want. I think we need to go to Belmora after this. of cheap restores. Under hourglass, that would be interesting to just like put somewhere and see what it would be. Water skin. And you can fill it. Crystal glass bowl. Please don't let her find a thing of just alcohol. Please don't let her find the thing of just giant yeah, thing of alcohol. And she's like, ooh, look, on the floor here. That's pr that's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. But it's mead! I have to drink it. I am drunk, I am fully hydrated, and I am picking this lock! And I can carry a pack mule. And I can't see. Latte. Latte. Carry the axe. It's heavy. And also, you are a Khajiit. You you cannot wear boots. Latte is my best friend. Why am I hearing water? 
Where is this water? GM's going. Fuck my life. <laughs> water. There's a slaughter fish? I'm gonna skin it. Slaughter fish meat. And scales. Boo ya. I don't need a rope. We are inside. We're gonna cook some slaughter fish meat later. It's gonna be yummy. What is that down there? Is that a rock? That's a skull. That's creepy. Hey, look, a fish that's not gonna try and eat us. What's down there? There's gotta be, like, a chest or something. Why can't I see? Hey, there it is. I see the chest. It is trapped. We are on the bottom of the cave. Ooh, shinies. Who would put clothes in a chest underwater? They like drop it? They drop the box? That is some fail smuggling. Okay, how do we get out of this nasty, dirty water? There we go. Hey, do they have a cook fire going? We should cook some food. Anyways, sleeps. Ow, my head. There, hair of the dog. Now we can go back and report to that witch Iridus that we have completed her writ. Not writ. What is it called? Assignment? Yeah, assignment. Alright. Enemy, you're just gonna have to come with us. I don't feel like going in our mock. Our mock sucks. We don't have enough firewood to make a good fire. We need to make some stew. Oh, hey, the rain stopped. I guess it was just raining on the mine? I don't want to go to Narmok. The sign says, no, we're not walking there. Penemy, you're just coming with us. You know, he's not coming with us? Holmar Winesot. He can just stay there frozen. Mm hmm. Alright. <laughs> let's get it out of our system. Actually, let's save. Because I want to go... Because, um... What's his bucket? Latte has invited us to his den. Alright, Latte. Our sugar is yours, friend. Recall home. Let us go home, friend. Latte still thinks he has a bit of moon sugar left there. And everyone's like, well, okay. Latte, you have a lovely den. You live underground? Yes. Probably talk to Latte and not just like roam around his house. Latte has quite a lovely den. Kind of dimly lit, but atmospheric. Oh, 
sugar is yours. Friend. Our sugar is yours, friend. Uh, thanks. Let's just let's just put the sugar on the shelf here. That's kind of cool. It's a tipped over box. I'll, I'll just put the sugar there. Enjoy some of our preferred intoxicant. An unreadable page from a brief history of the Empire. The volume is unknown. Scroll of the Windwalker. Short Blade. The Lunar Lorcan by Faldrun. I will not go into varying accounts of what happened at the Adamant adamantine tower nor will i relate the war of manifest man metaphors that rendered those stories unable to support most qualities that is most commonly known as narrative we all have our favorite lorcan story and our favorite lorcan motivation for the creation of nern and our favorite story of what happened to his heart but the theory of the lunar lorcan is of special note in short, the moons were, and are, the two halves of Lorcan's flesh divinity. Like the rest of the gods, Lorcan was a plain planet that participated in the great construction, except where the eight lent portions of their heavenly bodies to create the mortal plane, or planet. Lorcan's was cracked asunder, and his divine spark fell to Nern as a shooting star to impregnate it with the measure of its existence and a reasonable amount of selfishness. Master and Secunda, therefore, are the personifications of the dichotomy, the cloven duality, according to Arteum, that Lorcan legends often rail against. Ideas of the anima animus, good evil, being nothingness, the poetry of the body, throat, and moan silence as the abortive, and so on. Set in the night sky as Lorcan's constant reminder to his mortal issue of their duty. Followers of this theory hold that all other heart stories are mythical deg degradations of the, origin of the true origin of the moons, and it needn't be said that they observe the hollow crescent theory as well. And that just went whoosh over everyone's head. That is quite a long tale, so I will not tell it to you. Latte, Machi, and Yado. It's his little family. for his coffee or his sh his sugar maybe this is not how he must be finding his way good for you latte should cook. Where am I hearing the fire? Up there. Okay. We should make some stew. Or a slice. Oh my god. Settle pie. grill some meat and have enough. So 
hoping I could hang our pot, our stew pot, and make some stew, but it doesn't look like it's happening. And since sashimi is... not a thing we want to do in this, uh, these kind of, um, conditions, we will have to... Level two. Let's hey, let's see if there's a pearl in there, first of all. Nothing was harvested. Okay's like, why are we in the water? Hey, it could have pearls, you never know. Can I get to it from someplace else? People move. Water, dirt. <sighs> Let's put some of that pretty dishware we found here. And Dak, of course, is going to drink because what's the point of being home? You can't enjoy it, but drink while you're home. Compass. Storage key, that doesn't look great. Still glass pot, that I guess we're missing something. Okay, that's huge. <laughs> that's huge. Can we like slide it in there? Yeah, there we go. Mm. Where's a good place to put the the hourglass time turner? Jeez. <laughs> we don't need slave keys. We don't need storage keys. We don't need... Probably should keep one of the Nissus egg mine keys. Don't need his house key. <laughs> to a tomb that I'm pretty sure I don't need anymore. Domus Artis slave key. Ancient Dwemer door key. We might need that. Maybe. Slaughterfish meat is fully cooked. Coming, coming, coming. remove our grill. And we'll just toss the burnt meat in here. Hey, latte. You have a really nice home. Very lovely. And Gia is level 16, which makes sense. Since I'm level twenty, I guess we've had some issues with the leveling. Latte, I think you have a rat problem. So 
survival skill upgrade. This one is no more. What are we yelling about? Something up there? Of course it's a gold racer. I was just picking up firewood. I thought you guys had this. Target resisted. Oh, I bet I was hitting latte and it was friendly fire was stopping it. Gia, I got your arrow back. Closer to Belmora than to Caldera. Huh. Okay. You are either going to attack us or you're just a random traitor. Who died? No. No, we are not doing that. <laughs> and I just... Shit, I just saved. Instead of loaded. How far back was... Oh, oh, we... <laughs> get out of the save screen. We slept in Latte's den. So... <laughs> Real quick stretch. <laughs> Sleep to restore our magicka. And unfortunately sober up. <laughs> Let us resave over that. If, if I were to open this in the construction site, these rats would show up as ninja monkeys because they are um, leveled creatures. This one no more. Let's go south. Him we killed. You... Eridus? This is not the same... Er are there now two Eridices? There must be two Eridices.
Nope, nope. <laughs> you get six, I get 20. Are there two of them? In which case I will taunt and kill one? Or are there... Or did he somehow just wander... I think we left him in the fort in Pelagia. We're gonna have to... We're, we'll go to Balmora, we'll turn in various quests. You... Yeah, no. Do not kill any of my boys. We better not be fighting fireflies. You are clumsy, you are clumsy. Somebody handle the guar. You have the look of someone searching for something special. Come closer, stranger, into the darkness. Well, that ain't creepy at all. Midnight Agate. Citrine, I don't think we have those. Repair Fuller, Repair. Gee up, my friend. I have some more pretties for you. Actually, I wonder... No, it's not skinnable. It would say if it was skinnable. A warm welcome to you. What can Latte do for you? Okay. Alright. Turning left at the Naked Nord. 
we need to stop in at Ergolas? Ergolas? We need to stop in at the smithy, I think, to sell- or no. We need to visit Creeper to sell that glass axe, if nothing else, and maybe that claymore. Uh, we'll repair everything. I won't hurt you. Go ahead. Ask me questions. What say you? Hey. Do you? What did you greet? You've taken a few knocks. Well, Maybe you should get healed. What price can you give me for this thing? Yeah, all right. Let's go see Creeper about that axe, Jeb. Actually, I have no idea what happened to the axe. That's uh, kind of annoying. Latte carrying it? Latte, do you have a class axe in your Let's inventory? You. There it is. And a dwarven spear. I think this dude has... You will suffer greatly. All right, everybody. Welcome, you Out the door. You look like Let's go talk to Creeper. Oh, Creeper, where are you? Your actions Let's show get this book. What do you want? Or not take the book because it's showing as owned. No desire. Hey, creep. Yeah, I don't know anyone who wants an axe right now. Okay, he's drunk. No, no, not 
out the Sujama. Hello there. How what am I missing? May I help you? Priest. Warmly greeted, friend. Welcome. Yeah, you come with. They to well, your friend. You will die in this place. Latte, where are you going? Latte. us safe. Sujama is keeping us from casting spells. I should have grabbed those torches that were in that last cave. That would have been good. Where did Latte want to go? Let's go to Fort Buck Moth. So we can. We're going to Belmora. And then we're going to walk to Pelagiad. And from there, we are going to check and see if we have two Iridises. So I think we do. And if we do, then we're taking the one that's in Fort Pelagiad and taunting this one to. Um until they fight us and die because the one in Pelagia is definitely going to have a higher level and we don't as a rule pick up Kwama Scuttle because I looked up what Scuttle is and if what I found was true it's Scrotum Sorcerer just wandering around. Three pack wars? You must be a very rich merchant. I don't want to talk to the pack war. I want to talk to you. I don't really sell armors, hammers. By crafting material. <sighs> Actually, the diamonds. There we go. Tempted to install the buying game. Which makes the mercantile skill make more sense. But ours is so low that Dak wouldn't be able to do anything except pay what they ask for. Anyways, alright, we are in Balmora and it is nighttime. So let us go talk to. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagother calls you Dak, and you cannot deny your lord. 
The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. He is the Lord and Father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Anwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth, the true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enwa from our land. Take heed, outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. Okay. Somebody has problems. Hey, glow in the darks, actually. We're fighting a bat. Great, guys. Good job. do that. Sober, and I'm thirsty, and I'm warm. Okay, let's... Gia, I need the skull. Up again. Every time. Every time. Geob, quit walking into the damn wall and come with. And yes, I will train your skills. You in Impressive. These clothes with you wearing. We just left fake Aridus in there. Yep. <laughs> okay. Eat our other cooked Abbot fish. Many. Oh, we also got a report in at the something Fighters Guild. Hey, Gatnas. The pleasure is so all mine. What do you want? Again, is this about the errand you're doing for me? Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I had in mind. Thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nerevarine cult. Go ahead. 
The Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophecy Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw this cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for Imperial or Temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Cassius. Nerevar is a first age hero of the Dunmer people. He was a great general and leader. He helped form the First Council and united the Dunmer houses against foreign invaders, aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morrowind's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in the battle. An adventurer, I presume. Wow. Uh, hey, got nice. Still thirsty? Of its governing skill. What is alchemy's governing? Oh. It's cause I'm drunk. <laughs> Ajira's like, it's no good trying to train you right now. You are a mess.
Enchantment? Enchantment! I'm sure it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Everybody follow me! Do you have more information on the Talvani agents? I need to know. You got all four? Good. That'll make some people at the Caldera Mining Company very happy. Here's 400 septums. They pay well. And when you're ready for more orders, let me know. I need someone to return a code book that belongs to our client. Code book our client wants is in the hand of Saltide at the Southwall Corner Club in Balmora. Find that code book and bring it back to me. She's Thieves Guild. I take full responsibility. And listen, I'm the guild steward. When I say jump, you ask how high. Keep that in mind and we won't have any problems. Your talents are noteworthy, but some question your devotion. Perform more duties for the Fighters Guild and you'll earn your place. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> Alright, we turned in the quest. Everything's closed. So let's just walk our happy butts to Pelagiad and see what's up with the other Redis. <laughs> we originally left him behind because Latte is filling in the mage's slot. For us. Hey, look. There is a bandit within inside of town. Guards are not doing a good job. Not that he was any good, but. Yeah, no. Had nice, some nice shoes on him. Dunmer's Guide to the Reach. Everybody wants it. feel like making a deal right now, we'll just keep walking on by. That's an Imperial Guard. We don't need to worry about them. What is wrong with your head? There's two of you. That's what's going on. I don't even want to know what's generating that. Hey you, are you also Imperial? Nope. Bandits everywhere. Oh, that's a funky. Enemy actually has a weapon. That's cool. Natch Leather Rogue Helm. See if I can give it to Penemy. Actually, uh uh. <laughs> we went this way, we want Palacio. Still drunk, which is why I fell down. But I can kill the Quama Forager. Do you have something to say, Outlander? She's a buoyant armager. She's tough. At least that's what they want you to think. Is this a wild guar? Yep. And then there's these dudes. 
hundred septums, really? You're gonna attack five people? Two of whom are heavily armored. For only a hundred septums? You, 500 gold. You've got a better idea of what's up. Sledgehammer. I am drunk and tipsy. I got skills. Alright, as soon as we've solved the Eridus dilemma, I think I'm gonna log off for today. Or, and take a nap. Or try to take a nap. I haven't been sleeping well at all. Cat does not help. <laughs> she thinks breakfast should be served when the birds in the bushes outside start singing which begins at like 3 in the morning right now because I live in a pretty high latitude Ulmausa which we've definitely cleaned out but still I think she's just crushing the plants <laughs> drunkenly as she tries to grab them. But we still have the hiccups. There's our lady who's crazy in love. To... Come on, I didn't think it was this far south. Maybe one of those pictures will turn out and I can use it for the thumbnail. <laughs> we have a whole chain of people. Alright, we need to fill our water skins at the town well. Now that I have two, I can probably drink out of those jugs and then not carry them around anymore. Let us go see about this other Aridus. Greetings. Are we hearing pants? Sasari, so come here. Have some pants.
they can't wear shoes, that's right. And... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just roam around. But now you're roaming around with pants on. Let's actually save. And we have not been here in a while. Alright. Yep, there's our Aridus. I'm kind of glad some of the uh, ideas they had for monsters didn't end up in the game. <laughs> Not my companion. Not anymore. Let us go grab the true Iridus. May you find me. Actually, I think there's an armor back here. Soldier, would you be interested in running an errand for me? The traitor, Stentus Tullius, has promised to deliver 20 new Imperial broadswords. However, the delivery has not arrived yet. I want you to travel to Telerun and pick up that shipment for the Legion. Not a problem. Hung over, but we are going to leave it there for today, and I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Adios, mi amigos.